In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the Geotech Perma device to run the rapid chloride permeability test. According to testing standards, first, I need to prepare my concrete sample as a 100 millimeters or 4 inches diameter cylinder with a thickness of 50 millimeters or 2 inches like this. Then, the first step of performing the test is to assemble the plexiglass measuring cells. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up the test cell. First, I place the stainless steel wire mesh inside each cell's cup and tighten the corresponding connector. Then, I put the concrete specimen inside the spacer ring and the rubber gaskets at the other ends of the specimen. Then, I place the concrete sample in between the cells. Next, the bolts with the washers should be inserted into each of the four corners of the cell. The washers and the nuts should be attached to the other end of the bolts and tightened firmly. You can tighten them using a wrench. Now that the bolts are tightened firmly, the sample holder is assembled. Before I connect the cells to any cables or any cables to the device, I have to consider some safety issues. First of all, I have to turn off the device to avoid electric shock. And second, I should place the temperature sensor in the cell with the black jack, which is connected to the negative terminal. Once the cell is assembled, leakage testing must be conducted. For this purpose, I place the cell in a position so that the filling inlets on the cell are facing up. And I fill the black cell, I fill the black cell with a 3% sodium chloride solution, and the red cell must be filled with a 0.3 normal sodium hydroxide solution. If the level of the liquid is not consistent within 10 minutes or water dripping is observed below the cell, a leak is present, either between the gasket and the specimen surface or between the cell and the connector. Testing cannot be done if the cell is leaking, so leakage testing must be fixed first. If there is any leakage, first try to tighten the bolts and refill the cell with liquids. You can use silicon glue to seal the space between the connector and the cell. You may also need to adjust the position of the rubber gaskets to fix leakage, the leakage problem. Then, the test cell needs to be connected to the terminals on the device using the red and the black cable. I connect the red cable to the red jack of the cell and the red jack of the device. And then I connect the black cable to the black jack of the cell and the black jack of the device. Before I start the test, it is important to check if all channels are appropriately connected to the corresponding test cells. So now that I've made sure everything is fine and the cables, sensors, and cells are connected to the appropriate connection terminals, I can turn on the device. The device is now ready for testing the concrete samples, and I just need to press the run key to start the test. If you need to change the test parameters, press the menu key to modify the parameters in the main menu of the system. For more information in this regard, please see the device setup section of the PERMA user manual. I should mention that data logging is carried out with the PERMA data monitor software, and the software must be activated for data logging before pressing the run key. 
thank you for watching this video.